Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Horror Series Legion. Today, as known, in order to prove that a mathematical equation is false, you only need one number, and you only need one number. Now today, I'm going to break this theory that you need better cards. To be better in this game. Now I'm gonna prove it too fast because as you see, I have this custodian deck right here. This one. He is probably the strongest guy. And my deck is very strong. It is not about a legendary, only have one legendary, and not, and that's not even custodian legendaries, to be honest. But still, it's not a bad deck, right? However, I faced off an enemy that is much has much better card than me. It's a Vulcan. And yes, I rank in the meantime. 2519. He's pretty strong. You might think, oh, you definitely lost because you are bad. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna prove this is wrong because you clearly see a victory on the board. Now, I'm gonna show you the whole record since I cannot record it, okay? It will distract me all the time. So, without further ado, let's show you the clip. This is just a clip episode. You might say, boo, we want gameplay, but nah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? For the emperor of mankind. So, so, he, comes so he has ten more. He has fifteen more health actually, because he has five survivor. But anyway, let's just, let's just see clip. Roll the clip. Now this game ends in a completely unexpected way. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure you that. I'm gonna just like turn squatting, like what I normally do. To be fair, at the beginning, I thought I'd lose this match. Well, because enemy is pretty strong, it's a Vulcan, and yeah. But I resisted. I countered every single of his attack. So I victory. So I victory. victory. Wait, is that even work? Anyway. So I do the first strike on him. Strike. And I hit four more house. Good play there, right? Is it? He attacked, he destroyed my dear collector squad. He was kind of sad. He put a. Uh, he put a uh, epistolary. I, I can't say this name again, I'm sorry, I can't say this name. I can't say this name, okay? So he got two more cards, which is a wrong move. I'll, I'll show you why. I'll show you why later. It's not important right now, it's not. As you see, we have a pyramid forte, so we can draw a card tactic every beginning of every single round. And I use it in the middle guy. I'm just gonna call him the middle guy, since he does not deserve to have a name, to be honest. <laughs> and I use defensive satellite, and I finish him. Pretty easy, huh? Simple like that. I don't think this is a l very long round, but this is a pretty exciting round to be fair. This is probably one of the best match of all time. That's why I actually um, ping it, so that I, I, won't, I won't lose this one. I put this super powerful adult stun squad in. I don't know how to say this, to be fair. Jesus, the name is so hard. Especially in Custodian, like, what? what's your name? What's your name? So he put a legendary, he put his first legendary card saying, look superior. But here's the thing, what I need is the suit, and I win. This game, I win, but uh, anyway. So he used a tactic which lowered the cards of censure, which did actually nothing to be fair. I'll be honest, he did very different too much stuff. But anyway, so that legendary is dead, we get up right off the front lines. And now he can, re he can heal with sacrifice. Kind of bad, but nah, it doesn't matter too much. And then he heal, as you see. So it helps, which is a lot. Then I use the Melter Bomb on this drill. You see, this is a second legendary. He literally put two legendaries. Three legendaries in, a, in two turns, which is two legendaries in, a, in two turns, which is a lot, which is a lot, basically. And that's the card I did not process at all. Actually, none of this card I possess. Actually, he has to, he get a dumb bringer in under the legendary. You see, 
So now put a Terminator thing, which is like a very powerful squad. Has sentry. So I have I possess no more car I, put, I cannot draw any more cards. Use a scorched earth and destroy my troop with a pretty disgusting strat strategy be fair. Yeah, action bombs. Pretty strong strategy. Now by far, he has a lot of legendary, you see, like a lot of legendaries. However, I still have much more health than him. So I feel like the battle is lost. I, I almost feel like the battle is lost. But I didn't feel it. So I used to preternate. Preternate? How does he even say this? Holy, this is. Okay, I can. I must. I must learn English, isn't I? <laughs> I just grab grenade on him. You might think, why do you do that? I'm just, eh, just lower his house because I thought I can get him. I just, I thought I can get him. I was so naive. I thought I just finished next round, but I was wrong. Just six house because I cannot finish him in immediately. Two turns and he will get survival, so I cannot finish him next, next, next round. So I choose to destroy his epic troop. Another. Classic what you show, you don't need to be cards. Eh. I'm, just, I'm just here to prove a theory that you don't have, you, don't, you must need your brain and strategy and luck to actually get victory. You don't, also, not, you don't only need your card, okay? That's not the only thing you need. I'm just gonna prove it today, guys, okay? You put a, a disgusting dreadnought, another legendary. He has the, all the legendaries, okay? Disclaimer, he's a good player. He is a good player. He has higher rank than me. Yeah. I jammed him. And I put the arrow squad in. Because that's all he can do that time. To prevent further massacre. Now he destroyed my troop, my arrow squad. And you see, he has a legendary fourth father. Oh my god, I have to speak that up. First for Father, Legendary, that's a very powerful card. So you might say, oh, he'll lose there immediately, but I have only in deck and the bike. So you know what I did, right? I put the bike thing and I put only in death. Well, here's the thing, I could, I could get his house, but uh, I don't think that's worth it. I just realized now, actually, <laughs> forward warning. Now six minutes, around six minutes has passed, and we still have a, we still have a very good advantage right now. He puts a lot of stuff in, as you see right now. So I put everything a terminus supporting. Yeah, out of everything, huh? Kind of surprised, isn't it? And there's an internal vigilance, and I just clip chase this vehicle, and he used the. Uh, Ultra cool. Ultra core? I don't know how to say this. Why did they put you there? He destroyed my troop and he tried to kill me. Which is kind of disgusting. He has four house attack right now. You see how powerful he is right now. He get buffed. And I use the blood game. However, this blood game, I believe, does not go well. Did not go well at all. Because I only got this. However, I was able to get this troop with my ability. I was able to get three combinations from it. It's kind of lucky this round, I'll be honest. I kind of perfectly con almost perfectly counter every single one of his attacks. He used the Neutron Nocturne Burn. You see a lot of good cards here. He used Tactic on me. I'm stern, so I can't do anything next turn. However, I don't need to care because I still have troops to go. I got a their Clinton squad. I say, why not get it in? So I just get it. The young Clinton. An interesting trick. Now I compliment him because I feel like he's gonna win. I want him to compliment me too, but uh, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work. So I feel so sad. <laughs> I forget what happened here. Oh, he destroyed a troop. He didn't even have to get any damage. But anyway, uh, so I used my abilities to get that Soka Hunter's squad off. He's okay. That's a piece of cake. 
and I have only this. I have two only in this because it's such a good card. It destroys a friend troop and a random enemy troop. Uh, the only downside is a random enemy troop, but he's a fact if the troop was a custo this it will add a telemon dreadnought to my deck, which is a pretty good card. So I said, why have why not why not I have two cards? Why not two of them again? Now here's this troop is kind of scary to be fair. So I use the Imperial Bill React and then only in death to get our troops off because he deals 4 damage and that's a lot. That's a lot to have realized. So and then I just use my ability to get him. Now we have the evil house right now after so much benevolent leader sort of stuff. He pretty doing a pretty good job to be fair. I thought uh, if a warrior is squatting because I just want to throw everything I have on him to get as much hit to get his health as as slow as possible right now. My accent is so terrible I'll be honest. I'm too terrible. And obviously he has this squad. Another epic card, I know. Yeah, he got a resilience, which is a pretty nice card to be fair. I sacrificed my Ephiri squad and myself. Every squad to get him because obviously my ability is on him. Now because I have precognition, so he either has to attack himself or he just use this card for sure. Again, he has a lot of his cards. Now if you look at this, he only have two cards left and I have five cards left in my deck, which is a very critical stuff. And I have two internal vigilance, so it means I can heal cues in a turn, which is pretty nice. I put this veteran in, and I can't do anything this round, so I just say, why don't we just lower his health? Degrade, he's another side, that's not important. Again, he's sacrificed, did a lot of stuff. And then he used, he hit himself on me, so he gets the veteran off. He put a front line thing, a good move, always. And he just choose, I don't know why, but he chose to give him extra health. So here I got the uh, heal and precognition, which is pretty nice. Because, well, obviously I can't do anything right now, right? So I just hit and then hit him so that, well, I hope that time that I can get him so I can get another pre round of precognitions. But I was wrong. He used this one to return his own truth. And again, another legendary. And he has another legendaries. Two turn one turns two legendaries. And that's a lot. He has every legendary card except two back, obviously. <laughs> Don't know why he doesn't have two back, kind of awkward. But anyway, so I have a blood game, which proves to be very useful later because the blood game allows me to get to draw a custodian hunting eagles. One of my best custodian cards. And now you see I have five survivors, which is pretty nice because I have a little bit more health than before. Yeah, and I got the foundation now. And now, since, well, obviously he has no cards in his deck, so he starts to get one health off. And he just destroyed my hunting eagles and destroy it. Double destroy. And he reckoned it because he's disgusting abilities. Now, I am also out of cards. And he got another Dumbbringer again. He's too powerful. He has 7 damage right now. But I got a bridge and I just destroyed him because this is just basically luck. Bridge on him and then ability on him, so eh. So we just got him. And the next his next move tends to be the most stupid move I've ever seen in my life. Look at what he did. No, 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 not this one, not this one. This is this this is a pretty good move to destroy me for next round, I'll be honest. And he used this one. This is the one. This is the one, guys. This is the one that leads to his demise. He has no card, but he used to draw it. And again, I use my abilities. Now, you draw a card at the beginning, before everything happens. Therefore, you cannot attack me before you draw a card. So means, I used my abilities, then 
He has no car, and he lost, just like that. Let's see the final clutch. And he has no car. So, good clutch here, guys. And this is a 15 minutes video. This game is probably the longest game I ever have. Yeah, to be fair, this is probably the best game I have. And uh, yeah, Custodians proves to be pretty powerful. Overpowerful. And just ignore the stats because I use this warlord to experiment on the experience. Experiment on experience? It's just not a pound grind, right? You see, experience, I just test if you lost. How many experience can you get? Just trying to calculate it, but I tend I'm wrong. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, I use him to experiment, and this is leads to the bad result. But I did him pretty well with the rank man, so I feel good anyway. But overall, I beat him with this deck, with no custodian legendaries, with only a pyramid of four tip and two or oh, two to three legend, two to three epic custodian cards. And look at what he has. Let's just, let me show you what he has. He has this card. He has this card, he has this card, this card, and this card. He has every legendary, and he even has neutral legendary. Let me show you what he has. Uh, is it here? He doesn't have two back, which is kind of a mistake to be fair. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have this uh, manifest destiny too. Does he have some manifest? I don't think he has, uh, uh, he doesn't, yeah. Oh, he has no legendaries. Uh, no, forget about it. But he has this one. Um, Ambassador and Malagator. Malagator. I don't know what it is. And he has a drill. He has a very huge drill. And yeah, he has almost every legendary. Oh wait, I think yeah, I know what he has. Yeah, I think, yeah. He has Kaizu Lan, one of the most common used and powerful legendaries of all time. And uh, yeah, he doesn't have any uh, Chaos Legendaries, which is kind of ironic. But anyway, you see today, you don't need Legendaries. You don't need a lot of Legendaries to win. You need you need a big brain, you need luck, and you need card to win. So, I prove it to you guys. <laughs> yeah, so disclaimer, I'm just jealous of those last good card. But uh, yeah, I use my brain. I, my brain has su exceed those class good card because again you can just buy card but uh, brain you only have one right so yeah so there you go guys this is the end of the episode this is the shortest episode of horror service religion i've ever done except those who i, I have failed on the uh, event but anyway despite those this is the end of the episode only one match you might thought what is this one match how is it that long but anyway yeah it's very fun though i'll be honest and tomorrow is the release release yes yeah, the release of Imperial Fist and which I'm pretty also interested in so I so I want to record some episode with some custodians obviously but I don't want to use these three because I'm bad with them except pain I don't know how I get such a good stats to be fair <laughs> yeah but anyway um so I just tried him out because this is my reborn deck to be fair that's not my old one because my old one realized it's trash. So I just destroyed. I just delete that deck. I just create a new one here. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm so excited for the new Imperial Imperial Fist release tomorrow. And there you guys. This is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leave a like button because it helps me a lot. Again, just let me know if you guys like this episode. And if you want to see more video on Horror Series Legion, subscribe to my channel. I know there's a lot of people doing this stuff and uh, yeah but this content you cannot see it every day you can only see it on my channel probably maybe maybe not but anyway yeah i hope you got yeah subscribe su subscribe I, I want to get some subscribers uh because i like subscribers yeah i really want to like has more videos if you like am i being too obvious here my purpose for the business purpose is anyway just kidding <laughs> But anyway, subscribe. Please, I like that subscribe count. It's only 32 right now. Somebody subscribe to me. It doesn't even show on the, on the collector. But anyway, I don't care. Um, and if you want to see more videos of new content, some obviously strange content, please comment in the section below. And if you have some suggestions, also comment in the section below. And besides that, I will see you guys later. Stay healthy and you also stay positive. And this outro takes two minutes. Are you kidding me? Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Stay healthy and you also stay positive. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. That's a pretty awkward energy to be fair. <laughs>